I'm Emiliano. And I'm Lennon. And we're bringing you the news from the 007 studio. Today marks the end of College Go Week. The goal was to help seniors who want to go to college make that, make that a reality. Many teachers have decorated their classroom doors with colleges they attended, and some are sporting college gear today. Feel free to ask your teachers about their college experience. Also, to be sure to contact your guidance counselor with, for any help for any college questions you might have. Speaking of going to college, college visits will continue for several weeks. Juniors and seniors may go to Naviance websites to sign up to attend any of these presentations. You must sign up to attend, and on the day of your presentation, please go straight to the collaboration room. Attendance will be taken there. It's Hispanic Heritage Month. This year's theme is Latinos driving prosperity, power, and progress in America. Let us all appreciate Hispanic contributions and culture. And speaking of that, shout out to the, Hispan to the Spanish club and any students of Hispanic heritage who are wearing something that represents your country of origin today. Thanks for participating in this celebration. Now back to Mayana for today's clubs. Thanks, Emiliano. The gaming club will meet Monday after school in room five. Contact Mr. Black with any questions. Now back to Lynn for more news. Don't forget, the guidance office is offering students the chance to join a small group for counseling to restore your balance. The groups will meet once per week during when They'll begin October 24th and run through November 21st. To register, contact Mrs. Johnson or Mrs. Trepanier in the guidance office. Space is limited, so register soon. Time is running out to share your input for songs to include in the new hymnal for use in the chapel. Mr. Potts wants your input by the end of the month. See the Canvas announcement for more information and a link to the survey. Cecina is offering just a few more free review study sessions for SAT topics in both math and English. The final math session will be held Tuesday from 2.45 to 3.30 p.m. in room 221. An English review session will be held Thursday from 2.45 to 3.30 p.m. in room 219. An additional English study session will be held on October 7th from 9 to 10.30 a.m. Seniors will need to register for this one-of-a-kind Saturday session with Ms. Wetzel by October 6 at 3 p.m. Now to JP for today's sports. Thanks, Lennon. The girls' soccer team won 3-0 against Beach Grove last night. The boys' soccer team tied with Decatur Central 1-1 on their senior night. The volleyball team swept Monrovia on their senior night. Tonight, the football team will play at Triton Central at 7 p.m. It's our biggest rivalry game of the season. Your Crusaders are 4-2 and ranked 8th in Class 2A. Triton Central is 5-1 and, and ranked 2nd in Class 2A. Both teams lost big to Lutheran, but we actually lost by one less point than Triton, so it should be a great game tonight. Good luck, Crusaders. It's a light day for Saturday tomorrow. The only team in action is the boys' soccer team. They'll play at Greenwood Community with JB starting at 10 a.m. and Varsity at 11.30. Good luck, Crusaders. In other sports news, the wrestling team's weightlifting session is canceled today. Speaking of the wrestling team, they're still looking for some smaller guys to compete in the lower weight classes. The weight classes they still need are 106, 113, 120, 126, and 132 pounds. No experience is necessary. Contact Mr. Mangan if you're interested in joining the team. Now back to Lennon for more news. Thanks, JP. If you're looking for a part-time job, the Deering Cleaners at 1160 North Arlington is looking for help. Hours are, are 3.30 to 5.30, Monday through Friday, and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The pay is $10 per hour and you get paid weekly. Apply in person if you're interested. If you need uniform pants or shirts, School Bells is holding its fall sale. It's one of its best sales of the year. Customers get 30% off everything. This sale starts Saturday and runs through Wednesday, so take advantage if you're interested. Now it's time for our verse of the day. This one is from Luke chapter 1 verses 26 through 28. It says, In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, favored one, the Lord is with you. Is the church recognizing something of Mary today? No, but it is the feast of the archangels. One of them is Gabriel, who was sent to tell Mary she would birth the Messiah. Gabriel would also later tell Joseph when to go to Egypt and when it is safe to return. Do you know who the other two archangels are? No, I don't. They're Raphael and Michael. Raphael helped Tobias in his quest to find medicine to cure his blind father. Michael is sent to fight the Lord's battles, and in the book of Daniel, he is depicted as one who will welcome all who rise from dead in victory with Jesus at the end of the age. That's pretty cool. Let's head outside for Olivia today for today's forecast. Thanks. 
Emiliano. It's another super nice early fall day with a high of 79 and a low of 57. A mix of sun and clouds. Your game time temperature out at the Triton Central Field should be in the low 70s, so it'll be another warmer night for football. If you're hoping for cooler weather as we near October, that's too bad. It seems Mother Nature hasn't gotten the memo that it's fall now. We'll be in the low 80s with a total sunshine through this weekend, and we're expecting mid to upper 80s by the middle of next week. Now back to Emiliano and Lennon for more news. Thanks, Olivia. It's going to be really hot out. I'm glad I'm not doing any fall sports. Mm, I don't know much about sports. Fair enough. Now it's time for, lunch, for our lunch menu. Today we'll have calzone with mixed vegetables. On Monday it'll be chicken tenders with carrots. Please remember that all menu items are subject to change based on availability. Now let's see who's celebrating birthday. Bah. Happy birthday. 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 Yoo hoo! Oh yeah. Enjoy your day, Crusaders. In this week's RG poll, we wanted to know your top homecoming dress-out themes options. Seder Nation has spoken, and on top choice is Adam Sandler Day. Doing the bull dance, feeling the flow, working it, working it. There was a tie for the next two between Get Up and Go, and Go Day and Pink Out. The last two were Teacher and Student Switch and Decade Zay. As always, we get some creative responses. Two, someone said Clossy Day when everyone dresses like Mr. Clossy. A couple said Cookout Dads or Soccer Moms. You also got all the Patriots Day, so you can, you can guess who that was. Finally, someone who said literally anything but these options. Thank you for your input. Homecoming week is next week, so with that in mind, here's one last look at Gavin Turner and Tanner McCormick's intro to the Dress Out themes. He's Tanner. He's Gavin. He's student body vice president. Yeah. He's student body yeah. president. Yeah. And we're here to, to talk, talk to you about homecoming, homecoming week. week. All right, man, you got two options for get up and go day. You can either dress up as a cereal mascot or you can wear your pajama pants. The second dress out day is decades day. Freshmen dresses the 50s, sophomores the 60s, juniors the 80s, and seniors the 90s. And teachers, you dress as the decade you were born. On Wednesdays, we wear pink. All right, for Wednesday, wear a pink top, and then to wear jeans, you got to pay $2, but that goes to breast cancer awareness. Thursday's mismatch day, so you're going to wear different clothes, different styles, and put them all together. Friday's red and gold day. Wear your favorite Cecina apparel or red and gold. Thanks, guys. Of course, they had some, some help from Jacob and Esaias. Yes, they did. You know, we didn't plan it that way, but we actually got some of our top poll options as real themes for next week. Yeah, we got Get Up and Go Day and Pink Out. We didn't get early 2000s, but we did get Decades Day. Let's have some fun with these dress out themes and show our school spirit next week. I really wanted Adam Sandler Day. Well, we didn't get Adam Sandler Day, so that's too bad. You blew it! <sighs> That's it for today's Red and Gold show. Stay classy. And give that little extra.